framework intention one, two, three, four, five, and six. If I was kidding, it's not just three. Uh, three. Yeah, what? Like, framework and three contentions? <laughs> yes, yeah. thank you. Are you both the leader of the other? So I is literally demeanor. You are All right. All right, one gov. Okay, y'all ready? Ready. Okay. We could actually honestly give me one second. <clears throat> is the fil is are you guys filming this one? Yeah. It is yeah, filmed, yes. yeah, it's already starting. Okay. Oh, it already has started? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on, do your I'm repose. live. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do live. Okay. President Wilson said that World War I was supposed to be the Great War, the war to end all wars, but just like Mexicans, they keep coming. World War II happened, and really now we're on the brink of World War III, which as the government, we support the right. Shave, Zach. Shut up. <laughs> As, as the government, we support the resolution that th this house believes that World War III is imminent. We have a couple quick definitions, imminent and World War III. Imminent means impending or overhanging. Basically, it's, it's about to happen. It's on the brink of occurring. And if we look at the Middle East, we see the first, uh, first steps towards another World War III actually breaking out are already happening. Second definition of World War III. A conflict involving two or more major world powers characterizes the next World War III. That would be the definition the government provides. I want to launch into three contentions. Contention one being cyber war, contention two being nuclear war, and contention what? I'm getting used to you now. Okay. And contention three being uh, too many crises to simply avoid World War Three. Contention one is cyber war. There's four points under this. Point A is China. If we look at China, we see that Point first. Information. Sure, go ahead. Uh, under your definition of World War, so we've had about 150 million World Wars. Uh, two major, major powers, right? made two major world powers with however many. Okay, so how many world, world wars have we had? Um, not sure. Two. You're not sure how many world wars. World War One and then World War Two. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> okay. If we look at China, we see under cyber war. The first China is, has a full, a, a whole military branch dedicated to cyber war capability. Something that almost no other nation in the world has. Also, we see that China has been constantly testing not only the cyber war security of the United States, but also other major world powers and smaller nations around the world. Going also. Major. Uh, no, hold on. Also, if we look at China, we see it has actually launched cyber on t attacks on other nations around the world, such as Brazil and Peru. It's serious about cyber war. It is a real weapon that China will use once World War III breaks out. Point B, under Russia, we see that Russia has almost has more, basically, independent cyber warfare groups, uh, terrorist groups, than any other nation in the world, and they're using their capabilities. As we see in the case of Estonia and Georgia, Ru or Ru these Russian independent cyber groups are using their capabilities, and they will use them in a future cyber war. information. Sure. Were those terrorist groups, or are those terrorist groups, operating under the control of, or any, in any way related to, the Russian government? Both. They were They're, operating under the control of the Russian government. Some, in the case of Georgia, yes, and others are independent in the case of Estonia. Did the U.S. in its investigation prove that Russia was caused, did actually inflict the attack on Estonia? On Estonia, yes. They did? Yes. Interesting. Um, also, we see the point of Russia, we see that they're testing U.S. capabilities, um, and the third point, first point was China, second point was Russia, the third point is rogue nations. Iran and North Korea both have ranked higher than the United States in cyber war capabilities. They will be able to inflict serious damage on the United States once World War III breaks out. And if we look at point D, the United States, six million attacks occur each month on the U.S.'s financial cybersecurity in, or uh, cyber industry networks in and of itself. Um, each okay. month, sorry, five minutes. Each month, there is a serious threat, and it will only be magnified once World War III breaks out. Uh, contention two is nuclear war. Point A is rogue nations uh, 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 obtaining nuclear weapons. If you look at Iran and North Korea, both of these nations have nuclear capabilities, and they will be more than happy to use them against the United States and other nations such as Japan, uh, Japan Israel, uh, or or uh, South Korea. Point B is non-state actors. The point under this is basically the terrorists are trying, uh, attempting, doing their best to steal or obtain uranium uh, from any possible source. And Russia itself could be the source for stolen nuclear technology, uh, stolen uh, nuclear materials, technology, etc., from stockpiles and not at this time. Um, also, once a rogue nation or non-state actor uh, obtains this nuclear material, there's nothing stopping them from, from pro proliferating it to other uh, terrorist groups, non-state actors, such as Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah. Uh, Syria basically has the same uh, technological capability as Al-Qaeda. This is a serious threat from nuclear uh, war once World War III breaks out. Point C, finally, 
under contention to is basically the mutually assured destruction doctrine does not occur or it does not apply to non-state actors. It occurs to some uh, uh, major world powers, but not to non-state actors. Contention three is too many crises. If we look at point A, uh, point A the Middle East, we see basically the the first steps to World War Three are already occurring right now. Also, if we look at Hezbollah, Hamas, the Muslim Brotherhood, all of those different. Uh, groups, there are simply too many possible crises that are going to happen in the Middle East for all of them simply to disappear and happily resolutions to occur. No, not this time. Uh, point B, if we look at Iran and Israel, an attack on Israel through Iran would spark another world war because of the different inter uh, entangled alliances also on the part of the United States. Uh, Israel has a, a, a tense feeling uh, against Hamas and uh, Hezbollah in the Middle East. And really, the United States has stuck to uh, between promoting democracy in the Middle East and protecting Israel because of its alliances. If Israel was attacked, there would be essentially World War III in the beginnings right there. Also, if we look at Ch uh, China and Taiwan, the United States is spread far too thin, and China could uh, very possibly uh, invade Iran, which would definitely spark a World, uh, world War III. Also, if we look at the, d the different territorial disputes between China and all of the other Asian countries in those areas, there are simply from the sheer number of territorial disputes a possibility of one of them happening and sparking a world war. Every single one of those territorial disputes will not go away. They simply will not, every single one of them, achieve a happy resolution. And finally, I forget which point this is, under the too many crises, economic uncertainty from all of the African countries and really different nations around the world, all of those economic crises could be the spark necessary to get us into this full-blown World War III, which is really on the, the brink of occurring right now. So really, because there are so many crises, all of them simply will not go away. At least one of them will cause this, or will spark um, this impending World War III. So, and really, once it starts, if you look at contention, one cyber warfare from China, Russia, all of these different rogue nations, and the fact that the United States is simply totally pathetic on its cyber warfare defense capabilities, and contention two, nuclear warfare, both of these will cause serious damage once uh, World War III actually breaks out. Thank you.